It's great to be with you today here at Town Creek Inclusive Playground. It was a very cold Christmas and everybody's excited about being outside again, as you can see from the children in the background. I want to take a few minutes with you today to talk about Auburn in 2022 and what we have to look forward to in 2023. Certainly this park, this playground, is one of the most important developments in our community in the recent memory. This playground was built with all of our children in mind. And one of the city of Auburn's greatest strengths has been its investment in our children over the years. We're proud to have Town Creek Inclusive Playground for all of Auburn's children. It's over 90% of the equipment here is ADA compliant. We have built this with all families in mind and we look forward to many days of happy enjoyment here at Town Creek Inclusive Playground. There's been also other developments in our community this year. We have opened a brand new fire station, fire station number six, for a growing community that as I speak to you today is over 80,000 citizens. We've gotten Opelika Road finally finished and I appreciate all of your patience as we have worked through the redevelopment and the enhancements of Opelika Road, but now Opelika Road is prettier. Opelika Road is more efficient and Opelika Road is safer. And we hope that this encourages reinvestment in a very important commercial corridor in the city of Auburn. And speaking of the commercial scene in Auburn, what a great year we've had. We've had over 50 ribbon cuttings with the Chamber of Commerce this year in the city of Auburn. We've had many new businesses come to Auburn, including a new downtown grocery store, Publix, a new home store, Home Goods. And I cannot tell you how many new business licenses have been um, obtained in the city of Auburn this year. Auburn continues to be a place where the commercial entrepreneur can thrive and we look forward to working with more new businesses in the future. The city of Auburn has several new industrial announcements this year. There's been over $131 million of capital investment into our community and over 450 jobs. Just recently, the city council assisted the Industrial Development Board in purchasing over 78 acres for new companies to move to Auburn in the very near future. These are great new jobs for our citizens that supports all of the endeavors of this community. And Auburn just got through with its first Citizens Academy held in 2022. 18 citizens who wanted to dig deep into our community and understand how the city of Auburn works went through a seven month course. Look for the openings and the applications for Citizens Academy 2023 in February of this year. And then finally, at the end of the year, the city council was sworn in, a new city council that will serve the citizens of Auburn through 2026. Three new members of this city council look forward to serving our community into the future. As we move ahead to 2023, we'll continue to work on the Sanford Gay and College intersection. This intersection is gonna look better. It's gonna work more efficiently and it's gonna be safer for all of Auburn's pedestrians. Thank you for your patience as we have taken on this very large project. Speaking of new projects, our environmental services and our public works departments will be moving into their new headquarters on Wire Road in 2023. This is a very important and appropriate development for these men and women who do such critical tasks for the city of Auburn. Their current facility that they've been in was for a community that was much smaller than the community that we live in today, and they need this space to do the jobs for all of our citizens, and we look forward to their moving into their new headquarters in 2023. And this will allow us to reimagine the Boykin Center. The Boykin Center will now can become a new community center and a new cultural center that will provide many new amenities for all of our citizens through cultural and recreational programs. And speaking of recreation, this year Auburn will begin work on the Lake Wilmore Community Center. This community center with two full-size basketball courts, an indoor track, a weight room, an, an outdoor pool, a heated outdoor pool, and phase two will include four multi-purpose fields. We'll serve our children and our families for years and years to come and is sorely needed due to the growth in our community. Speaking of other recreational facilities, the Indian Pines Golf Course will become improved and redone this year. This is all due to the need to make the Auburn Airport a safer facility in the future with a safety zone extension. And this will allow us to reimagine Indian Pines just as we have reimagined Boykin, we'll reimagine Indian Pines and make it a better and more appropriate municipal golf course for all of Auburn citizens in the future. Speaking of other infrastructure projects, the Martin Luther King Streetscape will begin this year. This will allow us to take this important corridor as it comes into the city of Auburn and make it look better with better lighting and better sidewalks and better landscaping. And it'll be a very appropriate gateway into our city. 
And also in 2023, we'll open up a new elementary school. Woodland Pines Elementary will open in the fall of 2023. This will be the 10th elementary school in the city of Auburn and will have a capacity of up to 600 students. Commercially, we'll open up Bucky's in 2023, as well as a new Target downtown. And we look forward to continuing to work with those new businesses and those new entrepreneurs who have dreams and ambitions in our community. 2023 promises to be a great year in the city of Auburn. But we ask you to always be helpful to us. We need your input, we need your support, and we need your ideas as we, as we move this great community forward. 2022 was a great year, and I hope 2023 is another great year. I hope you have a happy new year, and God bless.